my opinion is, I think, I mean, if it is the case, which I think it is, uh, this was most likely flying spider webs. And I haven't seen it, I haven't been there, but I heard this case referred to as flying spider webs, which I do know to exist. I have seen a similar thing in Europe 35 years ago, if, though I hate to admit this. Uh, however, there was no regularity to the shapes. I still put this down essentially as a natural phenomenon. Uh, the term essentially here means that the natural phenomenon I have in mind, generally as an explanation, especially of two cases which I learned from American bomber pilots, uh, is that it is an electrical phenomenon of high altitudes. Uh, this particular case I still put down as a natural phenomenon, unless I'm shown evidence, but not as a high altitude phenomenon and not as electrical. My general belief is this, that there is a very rare natural phenomenon which is observed rarely anywhere on Earth, but it seems to be a little less rare on the northern slopes of the Alps, what is known as ball lightning. That has been written up extensively in European scientific literature I know of two other cases, reports from the ground. One comes from the Crimea, and one comes from Denver, Colorado. Now, this ball lightning consists of, we don't know yet how it originates, of a ball, luminous, usually bluish looking, between six and eight inches in diameter, which moves very slowly. In other words, anybody at a walking speed can overtake it easily. And the thing as a rule moves along electrical conductors or say like a barbed wire fence and it ends in two different ways. Either it blows up, literally speaking, in which case it causes a small amount of damage. Uh, I could say it causes the same amount of dam damage as 10 ounces of black powder exploding, but I don't know how much you have played around with black powder. So in other words, it would push a door in or something like that. The second way in, what it in which it disappears is that it seems to collapse in itself, which gives the optical effect of receding at an enormous rate of speed. Uh, some of the uh, UFOs reported by pilots seen when in flight fit this description, and I have a tentative theory which I haven't been able to work out in detail, lack of time, uh, that these ball lightning phenomena in the upper atmosphere are probably caused by the presence of the airplane. If you have atmosphere with a high degree of electric tension, the presence of a metal object may cause this phenomenon. As I said, this is purely tentative. I may be proven wrong tomorrow morning, but I want to be proven wrong. <laughs>